We are going to read Second Timothy chapter two, and we are reading verse thirteen. Second Timothy chapter two, verse thirteen. If we are faithless, he remains faithful. He cannot deny himself. Faithfulness is the nature of God. That is why we can depend on what he says. That is why when he speaks, we know that it will come to pass exactly as he has spoken. Sometimes we have the tendency to think that God is like us. He will say one thing and end up not doing it. But we need to understand that God is faithful by nature. That is his intrinsic self. Faithfulness. So that even when you have become faithless, he still remains faithful. By his faithfulness, he redeemed us. By faithfulness, he sent Jesus to come and die for us. By his faithfulness, he goes out of his way to accommodate us, even in our wrongdoings. But God is faithful. I like to read Numbers chapter 23, and I read verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent. Has he said, and will he not do it? Or has he spoken, and will he not make it good? You can rely absolutely on anything that God has told you for the simple reason that he is absolutely faithful. Has God said anything to you in your life? Or even if you think he has not, as we are speaking today, God is going to say something to you. Realize that that thing will come to pass. Sometimes we calculate things according to our own timetable. What God told me, the time has passed. No time has passed anyway by him. Because nobody handles the times and the seasons of life except God. God is faithful. You can depend on him. Has he told you that you are his child, then you are his child. He takes care of you. Did God say, I'll take care of you? He did. If you remain with him, he takes care of you. Even in your faithlessness, he still takes care of you. Even when we are faithless, he remains faithful because he cannot change his character. That's why it's saying he cannot deny himself. The real God is a faithful God. I'm going to read Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and I read verse 3. But the Lord is faithful, who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. By his faithfulness, he guides you from the evil one. Sometimes we pray the prayer that I consider most times as superfluous. Lord, come and guide me. Oh. In his faithfulness towards you, guiding you, guarding you, giving you coverage and protection is part of the arrangement. From the first day you walk up to him, accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. From the first moment you are born again, God's protection over your life is guaranteed until you walk away from the protection. And even when you are trying to walk away, he's still reaching out to you, bending over backwards to make sure that he covers you. Without the coverage of God, some of us who call ourselves Christians would have died because we are ordinarily exposed to everything that the evil one can throw. But God is a permanent coverage. Now whatever is thrown at you cannot prosper, cannot succeed, will always fail. So I'd like us to bear that in mind. As children of God, God takes care of you. He's a faithful father. He is faithful to the end. Is there any time at which God will allow you to perish on your own? No way. God does not leave anybody who belongs to him. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And that's the word that is spoken by a faithful God. I want all of us to base something in mind today. God will never leave me. That's what I should tell myself. And that's what you should tell yourself right now. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And even when you have become faithless, he still remains faithful. He's committed to you. But your faithlessness will have an effect. And what's the effect? It will disconnect you from his perpetual inheritance. But if you try to remain faithful, you are part of that inheritance. But that it will cover you, yes. That it will protect you, yes. But you might lose out on the ultimate price, which is the kingdom of heaven. If you are children of God, you should be like God. He said, be like me. He said, those who claim to be in Christ, 
let them also walk as he walked. As he is in heaven, so are we in this world. Learn to be faithful also, as God is faithful. And your life will take a different turn. The ultimate goal will be the thing that you achieve easily, even while in this world. It is well with you, child of God. Father, may there be such grace to be able to walk in faithfulness all the days of our, of our lives. And help everyone to understand that you are absolutely faithful. Even when we get into diverse situations that don't look too good, let us understand that your faithfulness and your coverage has not left any one of us. And help us to focus on you in spite of every situation. In Jesus' name, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. Mm -hmm.